This is Openly Hostile Opinions. With your host, Casey and Jay. What the hell is wrong with you? I can do anything I want to. Anytime I want to. Hey, 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 bros and hoes, here's another episode of Openly Hostile Opinions, and check it out! I brought a fidget spinner! <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah! Are we fucking relevant yet? <laughs> Do you love us? Uh-oh. Are we attracting a new audience based on keywords? <laughs> yeah, that's what we should put in the video so we get more views, this fidget spinner. <laughs> you betcha! See, look, it's even an American flag one, how about that shit right there? America! America! <laughs> Dude, I want, uh, looking at our video preview, it looks like it's running really slow. Yeah, it's like that. Huh. It's pretty funny. I seen some Indian guy. He was selling those. He's like, you have little stress. And he starts playing with it. And he's like, he's like, you have big stress. And he brings in an airplane propeller and starts spinning <laughs> it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Those things yeah, are... So, so, so use, you use, use, <laughs> hey, so you, you guys on the audio podcast can get in on a fun too. Let me spin it in front of the microphone. <laughs> There you go. That's sounds, our that's our big thing. Sounds like someone peeing. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. So um, before we get started with our regular scheduled programming, uh, we have a big fucking announcement to make. Yes, we do. You won, <laughs> Cricket. <laughs> I know. You <laughs> won, Cricket. You found a way. <laughs> you found a way to make us live stream. <laughs> Th- thanks, thanks to Cricket's uh, pledging twenty dollars an episode, which we never thought would happen. Yeah, I know. But like, I want to. I want to thank you, Cricket, from the bottom of my little black and left, dead heart. Yeah, that little that I left have heart. Thank you so much because now we can do, uh, you know, we can do a lot with that twenty bucks an episode. So thank you so much. I I appreciate it so much. And we were we our original plan was to do a Patreon only once a month live stream. However, we don't have very many patrons so we're just gonna live stream we're just gonna live stream from now on barring any sort of technical difficulties we are going to try to do it on multiple platforms uh youtube live we're gonna try to work in facebook live Mm. periscope and if we can do twitch as well yeah we don't we don't know really know about twitch i don't i know i don't like i know a lot about twitch and i know that we need moderators for chat and if we don't moderate our chat we can get banned uh, I don't know about Periscope or YouTube Live or anything like that. Uh, Facebook, I know that it isn't like that. You don't need moderators or anything. But we're still trying to figure. We might do Twitch. We we're not sure yet. We got to figure out the moderator thing. Basically, if you want to be involved in this whole live streaming deal, uh, make sure you subscribe to our social media platforms. We're available on Twitter, uh, Facebook, Google Play. Uh, make sure you subscribe to us there. The links are in the video description or the uh, or, or the episode description if you're listening on iTunes. Mm-hmm. Uh, Subscribe to us there. We'll keep you posted. But hey, celebrate! Yeah, celebrate! Woo! I finally get to use my poppers. Woo! <laughs> That's gonna oh, smell like fucking sulfur like shit in here. In here. <laughs> <laughs> we have to do. Oh, Damn it! Smoking. <laughs> You're gonna burn your house down. Yeah, who cares? Let it burn. <laughs> burn your fucking house down. Yeah. Here. So thanks again, Cricket. Like you've you've done so much because not only have you helped us, you know. Uh, by live streaming and shit, uh, because that's gonna open open a lot of opportunities for us. Uh, we, we're gonna you know have some extra cash around to you know get another green screen. Um, we can get uh, other stuff because I want to start doing movie reviews. So that's really 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 gonna help. I'm gonna try to do some movie reviews. I don't know when I'm gonna release them yet. I think I want to maybe like every Saturday. I don't know yet. Um, I'm still planning on. We'll it. We'll figure that shit out. Yeah, Either but way. thank you, Craig. Like you're you're you've been awesome. Like you've been really really supporting us. And, yeah, we uh, put you on a board of badasses, but you're already there. Yeah, like like I said, the little heart I have left, thank you. And, <laughs> and plus, for donating, you also get a uh, Patreon-only t-shirt that we're going to give you. So we're uh, probably Yeah, gonna... send us a DM on Twitter. I know yeah, you use Twitter. Send us a DM well, yeah. with your address and yeah. phone number and shit, and we'll we're, get it to we're you. We're going to need to get your address, and don't worry, we won't stalk you that much. Uh, so <laughs> I don't know. He's single and lonely. He might. <laughs> no, I'm not lonely. I got I got my beer here. I got my party poppers, and I got World of Warcraft. That's all I need in my life. <laughs> 
Uh, so speaking of that, let's get into our beer of the week this week. Hit the button thingy. Hang on, I ain't done yet. <laughs> what do you mean you ain't done yet? <laughs> I just want to uh, put up a quick reminder here. We'll we'll do a little plug. Uh, Patreon.com slash Openly Hostile Opinions. Uh, let me tell you some of the cool shit you can get if you uh, if you become a patron. God, it does smell like shit in here now. Yes, it does. <laughs> if you pledge a dollar or more episode, you get to uh, join the Openly Hostile Army. Uh, basically, that just means we thank you and you get a warm and fuzzy feeling for helping us out. And, you know, mm-hmm. we appreciate it. And we'll probably throw your name in the credits of the show, at least. Mm-hmm. Uh, pledge five dollars and more. You become a badass. If you give us five bucks an episode, you are a complete badass. And on the board of badasses, you will go. Uh, if you pledge ten dollars or more an episode, well, Patreon only live stream. We're gonna have to come up with another ten dollar tier uh, yes. thing now. Nah. But uh, anyway, if you get twenty, if you pledge twenty dollars or more uh, per episode, you'll get one time only. You'll get a free T shirt. Uh, it's a Patreon only T shirt. You nobody else can buy this. You'll just show how much of an awesome person you are. Mm-hmm. And if for some reason or another you would be stupid enough to pledge a hundred dollars an episode to our dumb little dumb little show here. You can actually be a guest on our podcast, so yes, those are the patron prizes. And with all of with with, with everything, you know, when you uh, sign up for a higher tier, you get the things for the lower tier as well. Mm-hmm. So cricket's already on the board of badasses, so I can't give her that. But uh, you know, you whatever we a, whatever we figure, she already out. has our love and tender care. <laughs> okay then, <laughs> fidget spinner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, Jay. <laughs> he just fucking drops it. <laughs> Leave it to you. I don't not. have autism. I'm not good enough. <laughs> You're not good enough. Oh, man. I know, man. People have been freaking the fuck out about fidget spinners. It's for kids with autism. Can kids have fun? Jesus. I know. God forbid. It's a, th- it's a fucking toy. They're already getting their lunch stolen. Yeah, right. <laughs> fucking pieces of shit. <laughs> All right. On we go. Beer of the week. Uh, yes. Beer of the week. I saw this. Um, in the store, and I didn't know this was ever made uh, by Guinness, but we actually have uh, Guinness Blonde, American Lager. I don't have high hopes for this. Yeah, I don't either. I'm va- actually very interested in what it tastes like because I didn't know they made it, um, so I got it just for that sole purpose. I like Guinness Stout. I mean, mm-hmm. yeah, as far as stouts go, it's a pretty like mass-produced, yeah. weak stout, but it's still good. Yeah, it is good. It, it is, uh, And that's the thing. For stouts, it is pretty weak. Uh, Guinness regular stout. I think it's pretty watery, but like you said, it's it tastes ma- good. Though. It's, yeah, it's mass produced, so you can't really, you know, complain about that. But let's uh, give Guinness Blonde American Lager a cheer, and let's try it. Whoa, it's, it's gonna overflow! <laughs> you did that last week, didn't you? I think I sit the bottle down too hard when I do that. Um, I think it tastes like lager, uh, Yingling, doesn't it? A little bit. It's just it's. Crisp, it's not very much of an aftertaste. A little tangy. Yeah, it's not. There's not much to it. It's 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 okay. Yeah, it doesn't leave a like a lot of taste in your mouth. It does at first. It has a lot of flavor at first, but then it just like fades off into nothing. There's like no aftertaste. Hey, check this out. It's bit brewed in Latrobe. Oh shit! Yeah, that's right here in Pennsylvania, Latrobe, <laughs> the home of Mister Rogers. Yes. Um. It's not yeah, bad. Yeah. I mean, it's I'm I've had better American loggers. I've had cheaper American loggers. Yeah, I've had better cheaper American loggers. <laughs> it's not that bad actually. I'm I I would actually drink a lot of this uh, on a nice uh, summer day. It's it's very very crisp. Like very, uh, very crisp. I I drink this at the beach. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I love um, the beach. All I can think about right now is vacation. In a few <laughs> weeks, I go to Ocean City. I know, dude. I'm going to California in the fucking November, uh, and I can't fucking wait. I'm just like, ugh. Well, my favorite place in the entire fucking country is Ocean City, Maryland. It's it's great. Mm-hmm. Love it there. Ah, uh, yeah. Sand, surf, bikinis, <laughs> sunburn, sunburn. Oh, I hate being sunburned because I look like Jellyfish. a fucking sour cream person. <laughs> sour cream person. Yeah. How what, very descriptive. Yeah, that's what my nickname was in my one job was sour cream. <laughs> it's like, like that uh movie Get Hard. Yo, what up, Bayo? <laughs> yeah, Bayo. <laughs> um Yeah, so if I would rate this, I would give it um it's nothing special. It's nothing special at all. Yeah, I'm going two and a half. I don't think it's very good. Really? Uh, it's not bad, but it's not I've had better. I've had better, and I've had better at a lower price point than what this shit costs. Yeah, so. I was, I was going to give it three. I'm going to give it three out of five college girls on summer vacation at the beach in bikinis. <laughs> you know, that boing sound you play is going to have a whole new meaning. <laughs> I know. 
Uh, God bless women that like to show off their body. That body karate. <laughs> yeah, body karate. <laughs> I wish I had a sound effect for that. Yeah. Speaking of sound effects, though, as promised. I don't like them putting chemicals in the water. <laughs> they friggin' frogs gay. I also Do have. Do you understand that? And. It's not funny. <laughs> That's my favorite one. It's not funny. Oh, no, I like how he says it. Funny. <laughs> It's uh, not funny! And when I'm, he does it, his head looks like he's going to fly off. Oh, yeah, he's balloon. fucking, dude, he's balls of the wall, man. Alex Jones f- fighting conspiracy. It's not funny! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to go to the store, I think, either today or tomorrow, and I'm going to go and get a little tablet there because I want to play some sound effects because I have a lot that I want to want to use. But You could have just used your phone, really. I know, it's too small. I don't really like it. You have a hard enough time finding them on that thing. This is true. <laughs> I offered to share, but you don't want to. Share what? This. Oh, you did? Yes. What did you share? I, I was going to put it right here. I don't you remember. You want it. I don't remember. No one shares with me, so I probably didn't hear it. <laughs> oh, listen to this sad sorry motherfucker. Right I have sad and sorry. I need a fidget spinner. <laughs> the cast. You want to play with us for a while? Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go to my safe place. Yeah, you're right. It does look weird on the camera. It doesn't really spin that much on the camera. We, You know what? It's probably because uh, the preview is a low frame per second. It'll yeah. probably look fine. No, but I've always seen that on TV and stuff when they show helicopter blades and everything like that. It doesn't really it doesn't really show up that well. But yeah, whoever yeah, made these are fucking making a lot of money, dude. You know, a 10-year-old ten, <laughs> managed to get one of these little ball bearings out of here. Yeah. They come out pretty easy. I guess they're just... Uh, skateboard ball bearings or something well, roller skates anyway yeah. well, this one doesn't come out too easy but the other ones my kids have because it's american bear. made <laughs> <laughs> yeah no it was made in china i promise you that oh yeah probably <laughs> but anyway uh she managed to get one of these ball bearings out and swallowed it a 10 year old mm-hmm. like at 10 you know better i know because a lot of people hate them so they're using that to try to ban them they're like see see it's hurting kids i'm like she, she put the fucking a kid <laughs> she put the ball bearing in her mouth in order to co- quote unquote clean it up <laughs> hey, she probably saw cats look themselves and like, hey, if you need cleaning, just use your tongue. That's what happens. <laughs> oh, man. Jesus Christ. Fucking kids. kids Motherfucker, kids. I'm sitting here playing with this thing mindlessly. It yeah, works. I saw that. <laughs> it works. Yeah, of course it works, dude. God damn it. You see those fidget cubes they have or whatever. It has a bunch Oh, yeah, of those thing. are cool. Yeah, it has like ones uh, on the side of it that uh, act like bubble wrap. So it's in like ever ending. Our never-ending bubble wrap. <laughs> Here, you know what my favorite thing was? What? Sorry for those uh, who aren't watching. Uh, th- this thing. Right, this. Oh, yeah. I was yeah, where you take that. the pen and you use it. You press down on the little yeah, so popper thing. Yeah, so it shoots like a shoots rocket. up like a rocket. Yeah. Or like my boner. Or like North Korea's uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. nuclear <laughs> missile program. I know. I was listening to last week's episode. I was like, why was I making fun of the French so much? I was hating on the French. Did you see uh, that thing I shared on our Yeah, that was pretty today? funny. <laughs> that was pretty funny. I saw that, yeah. Um, yeah, Jay, Jay likes to post stuff on uh the the twatter every once in a while so if you're yeah i try to side. post post funny pictures uh in order to keep you all interested in following us yeah because it's not always we need shell all the news, help but... we need or we ugh, we need all the help we can get blocka blocka <laughs> uh, oh jesus christ <laughs> i don't think he had anything to do with that no he didn't but like i was saying about the fidget spinner thing they these are more fun than they should be <laughs> oh yeah they're fun as shit i was like uh, my friend's uh, daughter was having them. She had like six of them, and I was like all connecting them and spinning them at the same time. I was like, "Woo!" Dude, kids do like some wild tricks with this shit, like over around their backs and I shit. Know. <laughs> but like all these people were blowing the fuck up about fidget spinners and stuff. They're like, "They're for kids with autism." It's like, shut up! You're trying to be cool. Like that's all I see that shit as. We know a teacher, and if you're watching. Uh, sorry, I'm not talking to the microphone. I'm playing with my damn <laughs> toy. We know a teacher, and if you're watching, uh, I won't identify you, but uh, you know who you are. She fucking hates these things. <laughs> I know she does. She's, She's so like, mad. I can't stand them. <laughs> She's like, it was a... Kids are just using them to be distracted. <laughs> you know, I'm like, they're... Whatever, it's uh, a toy. The, the thing is, is they're already distracted at school. Yeah. <laughs> school sucks, man. That's why I hated it. It was... I know, school's so boring. Ugh, boring. Just full of stupid fucking bullshit, man. I'm so glad I'd never have to don't, go to don't, school again. Don't stay in school. <laughs> school is for fools. Look at me. <laughs> there's, actually, there's actually a pretty good little... Uh, I, I'm not advocating that you drop out of school. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm advocating you drop dumb shit from your curriculums, <laughs> actually. But a, anyway, there's a, there's a video out there. If you look on YouTube, it's called uh, Don't Stay in School. It's a, it's a, a boy with a band. 
I think is a guy who, who does You're it. still playing with the fidget spinner. I'm probably going to play with it all day. <laughs> no, because it's annoying. <laughs> Fine. We're putting that away. <laughs> boy, boy, with a, boy with a band's got it and uh, got this song out, and it's uh, it's pretty provocative. You should go check it out. Wait, what is it? Uh, it's called uh, Don't Stay in School. He explains about all this stupid shit that people... Uh, people listen to or uh, or listen to <laughs> all this stupid you know, i need my fidget spinner back. I, I can't focus <laughs> it's funny I can't that focus. i take the fidget spinner away from you <laughs> and you take one of these popper things and you start playing with it <laughs> i can't i can't focus anymore i need my fidget spinner back oh shit is this the dynamite from it <laughs> not dynamite. dynamite it's a little piece of... okay anyway <laughs> we're getting talking track. about all the stupid shit that they teach in school that has no point well the thing is is there's a lot of um I wouldn't say I'd say guidelines, I guess, is the best word. Like the one school I went to, uh, they were considered a college. But in order to be labeled as a university, they had to put useless bullshit in there. And that's where a lot of it comes from, because Mm -hmm. if you get more money from the government, from the state and all that stuff, and it just wastes kids times. It is. it's, It's just fucking stupid. School these days is fucking stupid anyways because they just teach you gender studies and all this fucking bullshit. Oh, <laughs> oh Jesus Christ. Oh. You going to be okay? Yeah. Who watches us when we act like this? <laughs> not very many people. Yeah, not very many people. But share with your friends. Yes, share with your friends. We're like AIDS. Spread it everywhere. <laughs> just Damn. don't die. Just don't die. <laughs> that was kind of dark. Yeah, I'm in a very dark mood. Uh, Jay came over today, and I'm like, I'm running a little bit behind, you know. I haven't gotten a shower yet or anything like that. And he's like, you didn't get enough sleep? I was like, I got too much sleep. I actually got a lot of sleep, and I'm so tired right now. Oh, I'm not used to getting like six, seven hours of sleep. That's why you're tired. I know. I just, oh, I'm used to, used to getting like three. <laughs> oh, Do you ever wonder why Casey looks like a vampire? That'd be why. Yeah, I don't sleep a lot at all and we don't we don't exactly we're not vain enough to use makeup <laughs> yeah you know we probably should except no. for the time i dressed as a clown but there was that <laughs> couldn't even see it. we used a shitty camera that time i just looked distorted yeah we, we should dress up more we, we've gotten away from that <laughs> it's because we're lazy yeah we are lazy we don't even prepare for the show anymore we just kind of show up <laughs> <laughs> we're show like, prep what's that yeah we're like what, what's that people don't show up so why do we <laughs> <laughs> Actually, some I think some of our best shit is when we just start riffing on things. Yeah, it is like fidget spinners, and you know, <laughs> I want my spinner bag. <laughs> I know it's addicting, man. It's fucking nuts. But that reminds me, uh, we were talking about cities in <laughs> cities in uh, Pennsylvania. I guess they came out with a top ten white trash cities of Pennsylvania. Shemokin was number two. <laughs> well, well, we know a guy from right there. Yeah, we do. Who's the guy we know? <laughs> yeah, I forgot he was. Well, he's voted. from Sunbury, but it's right next door. Yeah. No, we we had Jason on the show. That he was a uh, uh, with Ashley, and he he uh, is a satellite person. We'll just say that, and he hates going to Shemokin. He I bet. Fucking hates it, dude. And it is funny because I went there once. Uh, I got the best head ever from a girl. <laughs> but <laughs> man, she she sucking that shit like she was gonna die. <laughs> but anyways, and it's just like that city's known for or town, I don't know what to call it, but it's known for a lot of white trash people that just drive around Monte Carlos with the mufflers do you cut off. That? <laughs> yeah, do you understand that? <laughs> I'm gonna use that so much. I know. That's why, like, I, I've had so many ideas for sound clips and stuff like that. And I'm going to go and I'm going to get a cheap. Uh, you can get them pretty cheap now, can't you? Yeah, you can get them. Like, the hell, this one was only like 50 bucks. Are you serious? Yeah, it's a, one of those Amazon Fire tablets. Oh, fuck, man. I was thinking I was going to have to spend like 100 No. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, that's good, though. Yeah. I'll just look for one of them or something like that. Because I, I just I have so many sound clips I want to use. <laughs> like, uh, I don't know. Like Jason, like he knows what sound club I'm gonna use. <laughs> Time to deliver a pizza ball. <laughs> For anyone that doesn't know what that is, I love Eric Andre. Me and Jason both do. Eric Andre is a pure fucking genius, and we love him. If no one has checked out Eric Andre, he's on Adult Swim. Uh, I don't know if he has any new episodes right now. I usually watch him uh, not live. I watch him on the internet or something like that. So I don't know when the new episodes are. But uh, yeah, check out uh, Eric Andre. His his he's just fucking funny. <laughs> you ever watch Eric Andre? Uh, now and again. Yeah, he he's just hilarious. Look, you can get one of these uh, Amazon Fire tablets, forty nine ninety nine. 
God damn. Yeah, that's all I paid for mine. These are the new ones. They come in pretty colors. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you can get them with special offers, but there's like a little script you can run that removes the special offers. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's ridiculous. Yeah, well, that you know, why do I want ads on my lock screen and why am I going to pay 20 extra dollars to remove them when I can do it for free? <laughs> for free. <laughs> I don't know what ever happened to that guy. You guys ever see the Unforgivable videos? I think we should have talked about that. Yeah, before. we already talked about it. He, he, I guess he sells t-shirts and stuff. He sells. <laughs> More power to him. Yeah, whatever. Hey, we sell t-shirts. Yeah. Nice segue there. <laughs> yeah, thank you. you can go to openlyhostileopinions.com, click the merchandise link. We have t-shirts, baseball uh-huh. caps, hoodies, coffee mugs, whatever you want. Free dates with me. <sighs> well then. I just need your address, your blood type, and your first child. <laughs> okay then. Yeah. That's some rumble still still skin creepy shit. Yeah, I get a little creepy when I'm too awake. <laughs> That's why we keep him uh, slow and medicated. Yeah, exactly. With beer and depression. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, at least I'm not making fun of the French today. <laughs> yeah. So, by the way, that pedophile is still walking around. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, did what? we talk about this already? I forget. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know that we did or not, but... Uh, yeah, uh, his court hearing got uh, postponed. Again. Because of psychologist... Uh, words. The <laughs> day, <laughs> Junior. His psychiatrist... You're bullying me. I need my fidget spinner. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, His psychologist didn't uh, show up, so it got postponed. So the pedophile's still walking around. <laughs> Although, funny story. He's been showing up at... Uh, 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 our friend Ashley's uh, daughter's soccer games. You know how we told her the other couple weeks ago about how it's horrible to let her him around the, <laughs> around the kid. But anyway, uh, how the hell? <laughs> yeah, he's been showing up at the uh, at soccer games, and I guess all the parents uh, all got together and said, uh, "Yeah, he's got to go." <laughs> Miss Mr. Uh, uh, donut Hole Puncher over there <laughs> the f- needs to go. <laughs> yeah, and, and the funny part is, uh, his his new new wife and uh, himself were like, "But why?" <laughs> I know. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> why would I have to go? <laughs> I don't. Gee, I don't know. <laughs> and that's the thing. Like he thinks he did nothing wrong, and that's what like really upsets me. It's a, it's a sickness. <laughs> it really is. It's I know. A sickness. I know. It is. Actually, I wanted to talk about that. Do you think drug addiction is a sickness, Jay? It's a self-imposed sickness, but it is a sickness. Okay, because I see a lot of people out here uh, on the interwebs. Interwebs. Yeah, talking about how drug addiction is not a fucking disease well i'm gonna tell you right now to go fuck yourself one and number two you don't know what you're fucking talking about it's a self-imposed disease but it's still a disease people's brains and people's bodies react different to drugs sort of like a person with diabetes their body acts differently with food and everything like that sort of like how drugs react to people that have low um i forget what the fucking name of the chemical is but say me and someone else goes out, okay, and we start doing heroin, all right? The person with the – I got to remember what the name of this shit is. I forget what it's called. But the person with the low count, okay, of these chemicals that they talk about, all right, will wake up feeling like shit and garbage. So they'll do heroin again to stop feeling like garbage and shit. The other person that's high on these will, uh, you know, just be like, okay, whatever. All right. It's sort of like diabetes. It acts differently and, you know, to your body. And this is the thing I understand. I see a lot of people bitching about drugs and all this shit and how, oh, you do it to yourself. You do it to yourself. Then why in the fuck do we give fat people credit? Don't they do it to themselves? So all you people out there that don't know what you're talking about, shut the fuck up. <laughs> well, on, on the other hand. On the other hand, you know, a uh, fat person can choose not to have a milkshake, although there may be a draw to that milkshake, just like a, you know, a drug addict can choose not to, you know, not to, I know. And that's not what to I'm shoot saying. drugs in their veins. And that's what I'm saying. It doesn't make sense. Uh, you know, you have obesity and all this stuff that's a major problem in the United States, but we're taught to love it. And but it's self-inflicted. Well, but on the other hand, too, you know, there are some people that have like thyroid problems that do have actual legitimate that's what diseases. I'm, that's what I'm trying to say. Who who hasn't tried drugs once in their life? You know what I mean? 
A lot. Uh, everyone tries drugs. It's just. Do we count pot as a drug? Yeah. Fuck okay, yeah. Okay, then yeah. I've a drug that. is anything that alters your body. <laughs> I've seen people. Oh like, yeah, alcohol. Yeah, exactly. All Definition right, of a still. drug. So you know when a person you know does drugs or whatever like that, it, it's like the thyroid problem. It acts different when these people are low on this certain chemical in your body, and it makes you feel like fucking garbage. So you do it again. And that's what I'm trying to say. Everyone's like, it's self-inflicted, it's self-inflicted. But we treat fat people like it's fucking, like they're gods. And it's self-inflicted. Like well, there's, I, a, there's, a couple of, there's a couple of differences here, though. But I think you're being a little just, too generalized. No, I'm not trying to be generalized. All I'm saying is, is people will self-inflict stuff all the time, and we accept it. But when it comes to drugs, we don't for some reason. And I don't understand Well, we it. need to treat it like the disease it is. I mean, yes, it's a, it, it was a, a disease brought on by poor choices. But, you know, so is lung cancer. I know, and that's you know? what I'm saying. We we give you know all fucking bullshit for that and stuff. People, but to be fucking fair, getting AIDS and all this shit. And to be fair, if you have lupus, you're not going to steal my TV. I know, <laughs> but I'm just saying, you know. And they've even done some, like I know people that don't think post traumatic stress is a real thing, and it's like they scan brains with post traumatic stress, and your brain levels look completely different than some normal brain it's just i see these people like copy and paste shit on facebook and they have no idea what the fuck they're yeah. talking about the short version is don't judge shit you don't understand yeah exactly just don't just don't just don't judge shit and it's like i just it's it's just so, so of funny. course our entire show is about judging <laughs> i know understand. but it's like we look a little into it you know what i mean Ah oh, man, you spent about five minutes of research. Yeah, and it's just like sometimes just posting all this shit about you know, oh, it's not a fucking disease, blah blah blah. Shut up, you don't know what you're talking about. You just you don't you don't know. <laughs> you just shh. Like those people out there claiming that we shouldn't <coughs> shouldn't have to pay for maternity care for people. So, <laughs> that one gets me. Have you, I, have you new, heard that shit? No, that's a new one to me. But I oh, I, it's uh, some of uh, some of the House of Representatives and shit. Some of our actual elected officials, good job, people, uh, are saying like, "Well, why should a man have to pay you know taxes for maternity care?" I don't know, maybe because somebody raised your dumb ass. <laughs> somebody paid for maternity care for you. And and the problem is, is like I've said, people just are off the off. Off the fucking woohoozy. <laughs> I'm just making up words, I guess, today. Woohoozy. <laughs> woohoozy. Yeah. Can, I, can I patent that? <laughs> Woozy. Um, where, you know, if someone's upset about, you know, why do you have to pay for maternal leave and shit like that? How about, you know, you fucking make it so the man and woman don't have to work fucking 80 hours a week to pay for rent and shit like that? Yeah, good luck with that. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. Things are so fucking tough right now. You need fucking taxes and maternity leave and all that bullshit. Yeah, well, you know, the the biggest myth in the fucking face of the planet right now, and I'm tired of fighting with people about this, but it's true, is like, oh, the reason you're poor is because you didn't pull yourself up by your bootstraps. It's impossible nowadays. I know, it is. It really is. It is. And you, like, know, you always hear people say, oh, well, you know, these people back in the 50s, they did it. I'm like, yeah, that's because you could go work for a factory with no education and make enough money to buy a house. Yeah, my mom told me she worked Can't six anymore. hours a week in the 70s to pay for college. Six hours a week, that was it, to pay for full college. But, of course, people who don't know what the fuck they're talking about love to just sit there and say, oh, well, the only reason that people are poor is because they don't work hard enough. Yeah. No, some people are poor yeah, because people they don't work like, hard yeah, Exactly. Enough. Some people are. But Other people are poor just because, you know, sometimes you're just fucked. Sometimes shit happens. <laughs> I know, dude. Like, and it's, sometimes you have bad luck. I know, and it's just so fucked up when I see all this bullshit about stuff like that. I'm just like, oh, man. Like, it is so hard. It's so hard. And, and since the 70s, like I was talking about, because I was reading about this, 2,000 and like 100% school tuition has gone up since the 70s. You can't even work a full-time job and pay for college these days. And you work six hours a week to pay for it in the 70s? There's something wrong. And that's what I'm saying. People Greed. I know. Greed is what's wrong. I know. And, and people miss the point. They're like, well, I shouldn't have to do this. And I have, shouldn't have to do that. And I'm like, it's, you know why? Because we're getting bent over and fucked in our ass every day. I remember I see this shirt at the Bloomsburg Fair. It says, I don't have sex. The government fucks me every day. It's so true, man. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> you know, and then you get these morons sitting there claiming that, you know, deregulating everything is the, the solution to everything. I got news for you. Big corporations are greedy and they are evil. I know, and that's what I'm they saying. There needs care. to be levels. There needs to be levels that, you know, if you make a certain amount of money per year, there should be certain levels of regulations that you should abide by. 
Which well, there makes, already are, but that's their issue is they don't believe that the, that should be a thing. I know, and that's the thing. And when you have you know levels like that, that makes it easier for small businesses to get started and big businesses not to corrupt and you know fuck everyone. Like Bank of America. How many times have they been caught scamming people and robbing people? Like, and we just don't care. They're still a fucking bank. They're too big to fail. Yeah, like Jesus fucking or Christ. Government bailouts. You but know? hey, let's shut down lemonade stands and stuff that a fucking kid's trying to run. Oh, did you ever see that shit? Mm-hmm. Cops oh, yeah. shut down lemonade stands because they're not a f- or garage sales. Yeah, a yeah, garage sale. God, we sound like Alex Jones. <laughs> it's a conspiracy. Putting chemicals in the water that turn the friggin' frogs gay. Uh, I'm so Preach happy. On, Alex. I'm so happy you you got those. <laughs> so am I. They are so golden. It's not funny. <laughs> yes, Alex, it's very funny. It's not funny. I gotta boost the volume on them though. Yeah, you do. They're a little low. It's so golden though. Oh, I just love it. <laughs> till till I hear them playing in the soundboard or in the the mixer, it's hard to tell. Yeah. So how are you enjoying this blonde? Pretty good still. Yeah, it's it's okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm basically just drinking it because it's sitting in front of me. <laughs> and you don't have your fidget spinner. Yeah, Look fidget. at this! I want to show people this. <laughs> Jay not having his fidget spinner is killing him. I'm sorry for people list- not are listening on the podcast, but on YouTube, can you see what he did to these party poppers? They are mangled from him sitting there fidgeting <laughs> with them because I took his fidget spinner away. <laughs> Don't I do rude. that all the time, though? <laughs> Let's see if you can look at them. <laughs> they look like sad old people. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> you destroyed them. I fucking hate you. <laughs> oh, man. Ow, dick. <laughs> Oh, oh man. You assaulted me. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Uh, <laughs> I assaulted you? Yeah. Uh, some woman I saw. Uh, I don't have the article or anything, but this woman's suing a lifeguard for touching her for saving her life. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> She, he, she, no wonder people think lawyers are evil. If you take this case, you're an ass. I know. She was drowning, and this lifeguard saved her. <laughs> and she goes, thanks for saving my life, but I'm suing you for rape. <laughs> If I saw that you were drowning, I would not lend a hand. Oh, man. I just, you can't make this shit up. I've seen your face before, my friend. You declared rape again. <laughs> oh, that's a great song. I used, to go to, I used to live by a bar that every time that song came on, everyone was quiet. And when that bar came up, everyone did it on the bar. Everybody does that. No, not you can't, not like this bar. You can't air drum. You can't. I know. You can't not air drum. But this to bar, like song. everyone, like it was like prayer time. <laughs> that was such a good bar. Oh man, it was so good, man. It was owned by this old Italian guy, and he was like really Italian. You could barely understand him. I worked there for a little bit because I knew the people that worked there, and they wanted to do a dart league. Um, but the people that worked there wanted to do Dart League too, so I worked for them so yeah. they could do the Dart League, and it was such a blast. I miss that place. <laughs> and let's, it, and see, let's see if we can get everybody in our audience to air drum. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be funny if we had like people watch this. The one guy's like, "I'll air drum for you." Yeah, and he has like a tear rolling down his eye. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I hope if we make enough music, we won't get copyrighted, or make enough noise, we won't hey get man, copyrighted. Hey, man, when you've been doing it like that, it hasn't really been, we have no flags of copyright. You notice that? Mm-hmm. It must be something, I don't know. We're, Who knows how we're distorting the shit out of it. Yeah. Who fucking knows? So, isn't a song about something about someone was drowning and didn't yeah, help It's him? just a myth. Oh, yeah. it's just a myth. What's it really about? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, this whole album is basically about his whole, like, breakup with his wife at the time. Yeah, divorce is a bitch. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> I remember. Don't worry. I wish I knew exactly where the fucking drum roll started. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I think it's coming right up. Yeah, it probably is. I don't know. <laughs> I've heard this song so many times. You think we'd know? Man, this song is five minutes long. Oh yeah, it, it's it fucking long as it's shit. It's one of those songs that doesn't sound long. Just, <laughs> like as soon as it's over, you want to play it again. Yeah, it doesn't sound long because you love it. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. I love Such a lot of Phil Collins and Genesis shit. Fuck yeah. And you I think this is it right here coming up, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Air drum. <laughs> I 
<laughs> all right, you're, you're all welcome. That's all stuck in your head for the next, <laughs> next three days. Uh, I got reminded, though, um, how about you were talking about, uh, you know, people having or older generations having more than us and everything like that. Uh, I just had a friend that his girlfriend broke up with him. Uh, oh, yeah, get this. So this girl wants to break up with my friend, okay? He comes home. She's sitting there with his ex-girlfriend and her dad. His name is on the mortgage of the house. Hers isn't. She doesn't pay rent or anything or like that. She goes, I want to break up, but I want to live here. <laughs> like, oh, Jesus Christ. So he is talking to her about it. She won't leave. Okay. Her, uh, his ex-girlfriend won't leave and her dad won't leave. So he goes, fuck you. I don't want to be around you. So he goes and he stays at his parents' house and he goes, God, man, parents have so much food. <laughs> and I'm like, I know parents, dude, they like, they just always have food. He's like, I miss it. I'm like, I know it's amazing, man. <laughs> That's like this bad Santa movies where he goes to that kid's house. The grandma's like, I'll make you some sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, it's great. Yeah, I had a I had a fucking smoothie for lunch, so. Oh, really? Yeah. What, what, why did you bring me a smoothie? <laughs> I love it, smoothies. It was a health food smoothie. I don't, think <laughs> I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I eat the fuck out of smoothies, well, man. Well, maybe you eat, the, you eat a smoothie? Eh, it's like a drink. Wait, how would you say that? Drink, I would assume. Drank? Drink, drank, drunk. <laughs> drink, I, drank, punk. Wait, how do you say? Drink, drink, punk. How, how do you say eat and drink into one word? Sort of like mixing. Dreet? Yeah, dreet. <laughs> yeah, I would have dreet it. <laughs> sort of like spoon and fork. Right, well, next time, next time I make a smoothie, I'll, I'll bring you one. Oh, yeah, I do. Dude, I used to juice, man. I remember I didn't eat for three days, and I just juiced, and I felt the greatest I ever did in my life. <laughs> and it, it was like kale and all that fucking shit. But I fucking hate kale. No, oh, but here's the thing though: if spinach any, is more more nutrition in it than kale, and spinach actually tastes good. Yeah, but the thing is, is like I always had a like good recipe, and the thing is, is anytime you juice, just put a lemon in it. It makes such the difference. Or a banana, a banana and a lemon, and you put like kale or carrots or tomatoes or whatever like that makes a huge difference because the banana and lemon just takes a lot it masks a lot of the flavor <laughs> well mine was spinach and chocolate cashew milk and a banana chocolate cashew milk <laughs> never heard of it i'm not it doing the vegetarian horny. thing anymore because uh, i didn't didn't lose a fucking thing but... <laughs> you're like i lost my happiness <laughs> yeah. that's I all lost, i lost i lost the ability to eat burgers that's what my fucking yeah net result was well i'm glad you did it man I had just to try it Whatever. I felt good for uh, at first, but then I seemed to feel like not so good. Yeah, that's I had way thing. too much a, gas. <laughs> yeah, I know and that's the thing. It really cleans you out, and when it cleans you out, it makes you not sick or anything like that, or it makes you sick because your body's not used to it. And I don't know. I know a lot of people that went vegetarian or changed their diet extremely, and it just went to shit basically. <laughs> hey, so on a non non health food related subject, how about a guy punching the shit out of somebody? Oh, sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I don't know if you'd heard about this, but it's pretty fucking hilarious. If I love boxing and MMA and that sort of shit. How dare you? Meryl Streep would be disappointed. <laughs> Fuck Meryl Streep. I fucking hate that bitch. You fucking masked looking fucking evil fucking go get in a car accident you cunt <laughs> do you understand that yeah <laughs> that's my new Casey's on a rant sound effect oh, I just fucking do you hate understand her. that <laughs> it just shows how much fucking actresses and actors are big babies Ugh. if you don't know what I'm talking about we talked about this but Meryl Streep basically went to the, I think it was the Oscars or something went on the microphone and was like no one likes music or movies or art anymore. They just watch football and MMA. It's like, wow, bitch. You know, into yourself much? <laughs> you vain cut. <laughs> All right, go around. Do you understand? <laughs> Andre, Andre Durrell, he's a, he's a boxer. Uh, his uncle, after a fight, his uncle, uh, who's also one of his, uh, you know, coaches or trainers, jumped in and uh, just fucking socks the opponent. It's, it's great. Play the video. <laughs> Yeah, we got, we got, we got a video here. It. Sorry for people that uh If you you know what, if you're a listener of the podcast and you don't watch us on YouTube, what what's wrong with you? Yeah, exactly. We're we're so much cooler. Look at this. It's in slow motion. It's like in slow motion. 
BAM! Oh <laughs> Sucked! <laughs> yeah, shit, look at his face. He's like, what the fuck just happened? I know, my favorite part is where you see the sweat drop off his just, face. Yeah, watch this. It's in slow motion. Boom! Look at all that sweat that came off. Yeah, so... You know, if they had put the uncle in the ring instead of the actual fighter, maybe he would have won. <laughs> no. So he was pissed that... I guess this guy did a cheap shot after the bell rang. Isn't that what it was? Uh, yeah, yeah, something along those lines. Yeah, and uh, this boxer was over in his corner, and, you know, the other boxer's manager, or whatever you want to call it, which is also his uncle, you this said. His coach. It's yeah, his coach. Yeah. Uh, and came over and was like, yo, man, what's up? Why'd you do that? And just fucking soccer punches him hardcore in the face. And like we uh, like we said, we're going to try to be better on uh, social media, so we'll post the video if anyone wants to watch it that's listening to our podcast. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> and after after he punches him, he fucking runs out and shit disappears. <laughs> He's like, you, I didn't do nothing, man. I didn't do nothing. You got some crack? <laughs> he disappeared. I don't know if they ever caught him yet. And Andre Durrell. Title fight ends with Uncle punching opponent and fleeing ring. Jesus Christ, man. That's so brutal. Boom! Boom! I was hoping, <laughs> hoping I could share the just the video, but I can't, so I'll share the whole video or the whole article from The Guardian. The Guardian. Yeah, The Guardian. Someone should have been guarding that guy. <laughs> Ba-dunch. Ba-dunch. Yeah, The Guardian's the ones that slowed it down, I guess. So they said. I love how the, the announcer like, that's assault! <laughs> it's like, dude just spent 20 minutes getting punched. What's the difference? <laughs> I know, exactly. They're putting chemicals in the water. <laughs> I don't like them putting chemicals in the water to turn the friggin' frogs gay. <laughs> uh, it makes me so happy. <laughs> you are excited, aren't you? I am. I am. I'm just excited. I think it's because I got sleep last night, and I'm starting to finally... <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! Actually, um, I don't know why this reminds me of it, but I, I know I always uh, <laughs> make fun of how I'm a miserable piece of shit. Well, I, you are. I do have feelings because I'm not going to say who it is because I want to keep this private. But I have a friend and her kid goes to uh, counseling. OK, uh, she's she's very young, but she has, you know, many little panic attacks. They want to know what's going on. She told her mother that um, she likes to see me after counseling because it makes her feel better. And I almost cried. <laughs> because you're a bitch. <laughs> no, dude. That is like, that makes me feel great, dude. Like when I heard that, I was like, <laughs> I was like, I can't do it, man. I was like, I can't. I, can't, I, can't I was like, it. what's this heavy beating in my chest? <laughs> I was like, I was like, oh shit, it's my heart. I forgot it hasn't worked in a while. <laughs> I just thought that was interesting. I was like, I was like, this is so sad. <laughs> and what I mean, I can't do it, man. and what I mean, sad. I mean that she has to go to me <laughs> to feel better. <laughs> Jesus, you God. are entertaining. I guess I don't know what it is. And that's the thing. My whole life, kids love me for some reason. I have I know. no idea why. It's because they, it they're not old enough to make wise decisions. <laughs> <laughs> like, um, when I'm waiting tables and stuff like that, I have these kids that come in, and they just stare at me. Well, like, I'd stare at you, too. It, I know. And that's the thing. Like, I don't know if I'm just really weird looking or, like, my mannerisms or... It, <laughs> mannerisms? I, 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 like I said an mannerisms, an and I thought I meant aneurysm. <laughs> mannerisms. <laughs> But I, uh, is that when you start bleeding, yeah, from, I guess from man spreading, my <laughs> anus is bleeding. <laughs> yeah, he's sitting on the bus, man spreading, and then yeah. you start bleeding. That's, yeah. a, that's a mannerism. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck's going on, but anyways, <sighs> okay, like, I'm better now. <laughs> and these kids just fucking stare at me, dude, and I don't know what it is. And the parents are even like trying to feed the kid, and the kid won't eat because he's staring at me. And it's like I must be interesting looking if a kid gives up food. <laughs> and like I would like to see the ultimate test like whip a titty out <laughs> and see if that kid gives up breastfeeding <laughs> over staring at me does it have to be a female titty uh, I don't know I, I mean I... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know there's one episode of Family Guy where Peter gets in touch with his feminist side tries to breastfeed Stewie <laughs> and Stewie gets a nipple hair in his mouth <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's probably a real thing it wouldn't fucking surprise me Supposedly, 
Sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Supposedly males can uh, can do that if you stimulate it enough. Oh my god. Oh, That's what they say. They That's what they say. That's probably the third gender we've always heard about. <laughs> I thought that was Bigfoot. <laughs> Bitch pussy smells like Bigfoot's dick. <laughs> <laughs> How much time do we have left for this nonsense? Uh, we're, we we got about 15 more minutes. Oh, yeah? yeah that got... sucks, because I got to piss. <laughs> sucks to be you. That beer is running right through me. Yeah, it is a light beer, so. Dude, if I just get up and walk, <laughs> I'll turn the broadcast. What no, do you think? No, you ain't doing that. Because you'll, I know what you're doing. You really don't have to pee. You're going to get your other fidget spinner. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, since we have time, I'll, uh, do you have another story? You got a story? No, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, I got one that I think is kind of funny. and It'll be short. Uh, there's a mom that was paralyzed after eating gas station nachos. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, funny story. Some lady had this happen to her after she ate KFC. <laughs> of course. Yeah, she got like brain dead from it. <laughs> if you if you order KFC, you're brain dead. Anyway. <laughs> I know exactly. Dude, I, I, you know what? Time for Jay to go on a rant. <laughs> <you> that? <laughs> <laughs> I have eaten at KFC maybe five times since I've been a grown ass man. And every time I get a fucking Alzheimer moment and think, you know what? I'm going to go have some KFC. I know. I get like that, too. Every time I do that, they fuck up my order <laughs> every single goddamn time. And, and, like, I, I don't get it. You can go to Taco Bell. You can go to McDonald's. You can go to Burger King. Once once maybe in a blue fucking moon, you'll get an order wrong. But KFC, at least in our locality here, our locality. KFC, our locality. <laughs> Whipping that word out. <laughs> our KFC here is run by retards. Mm -hmm. I know that ain't politically correct to say, but dude. Who gives a fuck? This whole show isn't politically correct. The funny, <laughs> the, the fucking whole point of eating KFC is that it's only like one ingredient. There's yeah. fucking fried chicken. If you put fried chicken, coleslaw, and mashed potatoes in my goddamn bag, I'm happy. How do you fuck that up? <laughs> I don't know, dude. Because they're fidget spinning. <laughs> Every single time. And you know what it is? It's probably the management. It's like the... No, it's the fucking retarded fucking people <laughs> that are like 37 years old still working at a KFC. That's like uh, the Cleveland Browns, <laughs> like the football team. They get the first NFL draft pick every year, and they still suck. That has to be the management. <laughs> no, it, I mean, the KFC, they hire the fucking dumbest motherfuckers I've ever seen in my life every single time. The last time I went there was when they had that double down the first time. Around. I still never tried that, that. Yeah, I know. I, and, and I looked at it, and I'm like, I'm a fat guy. I have to. And they fucked that up. <laughs> it's like the main thing you're selling right now because it's on special. We ordered three of them for our family. They gave us one. Yeah. The double down is, uh, for anyone that doesn't know what it was. It oh, was everyone a, knows what it is. I don't know. Maybe not. For But it was a sandwich where the bread was two chicken breasts. <laughs> <laughs> Fried chicken yeah. breasts. So, uh, Why does Jay have bitch tits? Gee, I don't know. Hey, I'm fat. I can't help it. I'll take three double downs. <laughs> you know, back when I was 16 years old, I used to work at an Arby's, you know. <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> I, I had sex the other night, and I was thinking Arby's. <laughs> <laughs> she looked like a hand grenade went off in it. <laughs> oh, that's fucking gross. I know. It is. <laughs> anyway, I worked in an Arby's, and uh, we were just all fucking awful. I can't believe I, it took me long to get fired from that job as it did. <laughs> like, we would see, uh, like, customers come in, and we were really... We were a shit Arby's. Nobody ever came in. We were in a mall, if that tells you anything. How oh, often God. have you gone to a mall recently? Yeah, like, I always, every time I walk past that Arby's, I see, like, one person in there. Yeah. <laughs> a year. Yeah. So, anyway, uh, that's the mall. That's the Arby's. I was 16 years old. We would just hide in the back. And, like, <laughs> the the oven where we cooked the roast beef had, like, a little crack about as big as, about an inch that we could peer through. We'd just stand back there and look. If after, <laughs> And we used to time it. If after one minute they didn't walk away, then we'd go <laughs> wait on them. <laughs> you sick fuck. <laughs> I, I know. It's just, uh, we were so terrible. Eh? <laughs> but, you know, we used to see these fucking, fucking, like, gigantic, gigantors coming in. <laughs> 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 
And you're like, run, <laughs> run, motherfucker. <laughs> you know, little fucking Chinese people. Like, oh, my God, there comes Godzilla. <laughs> Godzilla. Godzilla. <laughs> 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 and then they'd come up to the counter, you know. And it, it'd all, always be this woman, and she was always wearing, like, shorts that looked like they were supposed to be stretchy, but they weren't stretchy. <laughs> and... <laughs> They they would get that flap over their knee, you know the one. Yeah. Oh yeah. The the, the double knee. No, yeah, yeah, knee yeah, fat. yeah, yeah, yeah. Knee fat. <laughs> yeah, and it just looks like a sad bulldog jowl <laughs> right over Dude. the knee. Yeah, man. I mean, I'm fat, but I ain't that fat. Oh yeah, and that's what I'm saying. There's <laughs> fat, and then there's heavily obese. Like there's heavy, and that's mm-hmm. where and that's where you have the person you know that's sitting, an obese sitting at Arby's, fucking injecting gravy in between their toes <laughs> like heroin. You're like, well, no, that's it's a funny. thyroid problem. I'm like, yeah, it is. You fat. That fucking cunt. It was an obese. <laughs> a wild obese appeared and, and, and stormed into the Arby's and deba- demanded service. And then the Asians were crashing the cars in the Arby's because they can't drive. <laughs> so the obese walks up to the counter, you know, and they always order, Can I get three double t- d- double bacon cheddar sandwiches, large curly fry, and a Diet Coke? I know, and you know that, you know, they were sitting... In front of Arby's that whole time on a bench, waiting there for 20 minutes just to get enough air in their lugs to walk that <laughs> like, this, <laughs> like this fucker has a St. Bernard with him with hot chocolate just in case they don't make it. <laughs> you know, first aid kit strapped around their belt and shit like that. Tied to an oxygen tank, road flares. I, I need that large <laughs> curly fry. Just in case they don't make it to 20 feet to the fucking counter. Oh, man, I'm sorry. Fat people, you're fucking weird. <laughs> <laughs> There's this guy I used to work with. I cannot for the life of me remember his name, but he actually looked like Hyde from that 70s show. He had the, oh, Jesus the hair and everything. He used to he used to say uh, he was a hippie, too. He used to say, you know, I'd love to just go out there and be like, uh, I'm sorry, you have failed the Arby's challenge. <laughs> <laughs> we cannot serve this to you. We are afraid it may kill you. <laughs> yeah, exactly, dude. And that's what I'm saying. That's what I was talking about, the the whole drug thing and stuff like that. I used to work in a grocery store, and I think I've mentioned this before. This guy had diabetes so bad, his legs were scabs. And he would just get the sh- Like, he would check out with fucking, like, I'm not even joking, 40 hungry man meals. Hungry man is disgusting. Ugh. Those meals are so bad for you. He'd get processed, just everything. Oh, it's a thyroid problem. Yeah, I bet it is, you fat fuck. You but, know why I'm fat? But hey, let's give them special treatment and heroin people, you know, nothing. No, fuck you know what? You. you know why I'm fat? <laughs> I like cake. <laughs> I know, exactly. I'm fat because I have uh, consumed way too many cheeseburgers and beer. <laughs> I get so depressed when I'm at work. And someone has a birthday party and they don't offer me cake. <laughs> like, I'm just, like, sitting there looking at it. I'm like, come on. You know you want to offer me a piece. You know, and then they leave. I'm just like, oh. <laughs> yeah, you know what You know what the biggest thing about when I when I did my, my, my time, when I served my time in the restaurants? What's that? Uh, one of the biggest things that annoys the fuck out of me is when you order lettuce and tomato on the side. Yeah, I, I can. I can get a condiment. I get a I condiment. Know. If you want like mayo on the side, yeah, okay. You might want a little mayo. You might want a lot. I get yeah. that. But lettuce and fucking tomato, you either like it or you no, don't. I know, and that's what I'm saying. When you take a <laughs> shit, it all looks poop. Like it's it all, all poop. poop. It all looks poop. Or, or if you get gravy on the side, like that's another one that that used to get me. People will get like a roast beef sandwich, like an like open face roast beef sandwich, mm-hmm. and they'll order the gravy on the side. And then as soon as you see the server take it to the table. They take it and dump it on the sandwich. Yeah, I, th- I think people are just fucking retarded. Like, I think like, they just like being catered to. Shit, when was it? I think it was oh, Friday. Friday or Thursday. I forget what day it was. I literally Did had a girl. That? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I literally had a woman go, your clam strips, are they the strips? And I just said, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know. I was. I wanted to fucking no. choke this bitch. And this bitch <laughs> always comes in with her. I don't know if it's her husband or what. And these two other old people. And for some miracle. Miracle. Only, only like 0.5% of the world's population has a gluten allergy. All four of these people have a gluten allergy. They don't have a gluten allergy. I know. Allergy. Exactly. And that's what I'm saying. It's Unless you have celiac people. disease, you can eat gluten. Stop And that's it. what I'm saying. There's gluten like, is not bad for you. There's like 0.5% of the whole world that has it. And that's not the original number. Don't quote me on that. But what I'm saying is it's something low like that. And 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 all like, you know, point 
whatever is sitting there right in front of me, all four of them. And they're so fucking annoying. It's just like, go away. Like, just go out in traffic and fucking <laughs> just jump in front of a car. Because you make everyone else's life miserable. <laughs> one, one of the ones I remember, too, is somebody would always come in and order well-done chicken. Yeah, because I was serving it medium yeah, rare. Yeah, because we're feeding a tiger that can eat raw chicken, you fucking twats. <laughs> <laughs> I just get so upset, man. I just, I don't Do you know. That? This is a really negative episode, but I don't care. Fuck everyone. <laughs> but we're going to start live streaming, so that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. And Jay likes fidget spinners. If not, he fucking destroys plastic things. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I'm going to take a picture of these and put them on Twitter. <laughs> Go for it. I'm like, this is what <laughs> happens when you take someone's fidget spinner away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you have empty party popper shells. Dude, you even rip the fucking like label off and everything. I do that with beer. No, oh, you do that with beer. Yeah, it, have you? Uh, have I ever been sitting at the bar drinking a beer wa- with you there? Oh, uh, we. Haven't I hung always out rip. In a long time. I always rip uh, the, the the labels off and fold them up and put them in my empty bottles. Yeah, I don't know. We haven't hung out in a long time. Like we do. Like uh, we'll, we hang out and do this. Yeah, like a couple weeks ago, I went over to his house and we played Monopoly and his. You know, six-year-old daughter kicked our fucking ass. <laughs> Every time we play, she kicks our ass. I know. And then the funny thing is, is his youngest daughter was killing us. Okay. We were playing the electronic one where you have credit cards. She had like fucking 20, 30, 40 fucking million dollars, something like that. We all had like five. <laughs> so she gets tired and goes to bed. Okay. So we just clear her money and then we put all of her other stuff up for sale. And then his next oldest kicks her ass and she ends up winning. <laughs> I know. And like when she goes up to bed, we just look at each other and go, How did we get beat by kids? Well, I know. Every time. It's like, What the fuck is going on? And man? like they don't even play like how the rest of us would. Like they didn't ever buy anything. I know. We were like scamming them and shit. Well, we weren't really scamming yeah. them. <laughs> I was. I'm their dad. That's my job. <laughs> we were like, we'll give you, you know, this leftover French fry for that card. Okay. <laughs> and they wasn't still quite ki- that bad. But yeah, it wasn't quite that bad. But they still kicked our fucking. How house. much do you want for that? Ten million dollars. Okay. <laughs> All right. It's just so ridiculous, man. They kicked our ass twice. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, maybe that's why we're not very successful. We just suck with money. I guess. I don't I don't get it. We must be over time now or getting close to. Yeah, I think we're done. I think we're done here. <laughs> I think I think we've had enough of this black cloud hanging over. <laughs> yeah, it's just a depressing episode. Sorry everybody. But like we said, we're live streaming soon. <laughs> yeah, make sure you get on uh get online to our uh social things yeah and, and, and <laughs> do, the, do the social thing so that you can find out more about what's going on we're going to start probably doing it on tuesdays then yeah the uh the podcast will still probably go out wednesday nights to thursday mornings we try to do it wednesday night but sometimes mm-hmm. you know shit happens and that's the thing for people that uh like live streaming what we're going to do is is on tuesdays we're going to live stream mm-hmm. and with live stream you can't really pick a time because of you know things so we're going to either it's going to be around eleven thirty or noon that we're gonna live stream, and for people that we'll, you know, we'll, we'll we'll give you a heads up yeah. when we're about to get. Yeah, plugged we're in. we're still putting everything together, but uh, and then we're still gonna release on YouTube every Thursday or when it probably well, be it would now. it would already be up. Yeah, it would already YouTube, be up. So, so I guess the, you're just, just basically the yeah, you're basically gonna get content sooner in the week. It's all still gonna be out there. Basically, just what's gonna happen is our video is gonna look a little bit different when you live stream. Things are set up a little bit different, so our videos are just gonna look a little bit different. Yeah, they probably be a little grainier because of the way we have to stream, or the audio might not be synced perfectly. But uh, you know. Whatever, she paid us the $20 an episode. We need to do it. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, yeah, no, actually, that should be okay. I, I was talking more like the intros and stuff. It might, you know, look a little bit, but who knows? We're still Yeah, we'll figure it out. It. Yeah. Uh, uh, we you might just... play around with the times a little bit. We yeah. might end up moving to the evenings if uh-huh. that works better but for But you're people. still going to get the podcast uh, audio version for it because we know we have people, uh, you know, Shane that's on the wall badass as he listens to, uh, to it at work. Uh, going to work every Thursday. So you're still going to get that. You're still going to get the YouTube videos. It's just we're live streaming now. Um, and we're going to start that next week. Um, yeah. And by the way, if uh, if the time that we're doing it doesn't work for you guys, uh, if you have another preference, we have to work it around our schedules. But uh, leave us messages. We'll 
see what we can do. If enough people want a certain time slot, we will try to do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, we'll, we'll work around it. And 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 again, thanks, Cricket. Like uh, you've opened a lot of opportunities for us. And uh, but we weren't ready yet. You pain in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> like when when we saw it, me and Jay looked at each other. We're like, that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> she got us the live stream. That bitch. She, she's like, she's like, she's doing it for weeks. She's yeah, been bugging she, us. She's like, you should live stream. You should live stream. We're like, yeah, good idea. We'll do it. You know when we have. And then we saw that she donated. We're like. Son of a bitch! <laughs> she won. <laughs> she won. She beat us. But no, remember, but, hey, cricket, DM us your yes. address, your your real we gotta name. Send you, yeah, we got to send you that shirt. Your real name, then. your address. We'll get it to you as soon as we possibly can. Might be a couple of weeks, but we will get it to you. Yeah, and we're excited to live stream because, like me and Jay said, it's just going to open a uh, a bunch of opportunities. It can't hurt. So uh, it's actually good that you did it, cricket. You sort of, you know. Give us a kick in the ass. Yeah, give us a kick in the ass. And be like, yeah, motherfuckers, do it. <laughs> so we do appreciate it. Um, All right. Well, we'll see you all probably Tuesday, I guess. Yeah. So uh, have a good one. We'll see you next time. And uh, remember. I don't like them putting chemicals in the water. They turn the freaking frogs gay. This has been the Openly Hostile Opinions podcast. <laughs>